Hello my dear students welcome to IMS Gate Academy myself Sandeep Padari here we have a gate previous year question on CPS now my dear students void ratio and specific gravity is given in addition to this the flow is upwards he is asking in the question how to calculate the effective stress at a point for your information my dear students CPS always acts in the direction of flow Effective stress may be increased or decreased depending upon the direction of flow. Here in this question, if the CPS is acting upwards, then definitely there will be a reduction in effective stress. So here, when I calculate the question, first I would like to calculate the effective stress. So whenever there is a water table present, you should always remember that in the calculation of effective stress, gamma sat will be replaced by submerged unit weight so how to calculate submerged unit weight here is we have gamma dash is equal to gamma w into g minus 1 upon 1 plus c just substitute all the values and you will be getting a value of 10.78 after substituting the effective stress you know the length of the sample is 2.5 and this acts at a point A, which is at a height of 1.5 meter. So, if you calculate the seepage pressure, seepage pressure is given by the formula unit weight of water into hydraulic gradient into Z. Now, my dear students, hydraulic gradient is defined as loss of head per unit length. By substituting the values, which is the loss of head is nothing but the difference in head, which is 1.2 meter and the length of the soil sample is 2.5 meter and we know the depth is how much sir is at 1.5 meter. On substituting all these values, you will be getting a value of 8.93 kilonewton per meter square. I hope this solution will help you. Thank you.